Good day everyone. So welcome to day 10 of the Baileys Do Disney Orlando series vlog. I think that's the first time in 10 days I've got it right. Day 10 is going to consist of half a day trip to Typhoon Lagoon which was added last minute. It was very hot yesterday in Hollywood Studios. The kids were hot, we were hot. Literally our face sweating. Oh, so floor. hot, it was like 34 degrees and we were like you know what we need to add some sort of water park rest day in it. And we've got Ford's Garage. And then Ford's Garage later tonight, which is apparently some of the best burgers in the whole of Orlando. So that is something I'm really looking forward to. Oh, but first, we're going to Kiki's for breakfast. Heard a few Kiki, things. Kiki, do you love me? That place, yeah. <laughs> that place. <laughs> wonder if they sing that as we go in. Oh, but God. yeah, so really looking forward to that one. Uh, I say we're looking forward to it. Food's just been fantastic out here, so hopefully that's another one that's been on the recommendation. <laughs> We've had a few messages uh, of friends saying this should be uh, Bailey's Do Food, not Bailey's Do Disney. But yeah, they might be right, but the food is so good. It's part of the trip, isn't it? So guys, that's us now going to Kiki's. I think it's pronounced Kiki's, not Kekis, Kiki's for breakfast. Hey, do you want me sitting next to each other? I get to sit next to my best bud. So the kids get this, this like, show them, can I show them Paige? They're like a wax stick. Let me show them what I just put together. And you basically, are just sticks of wax and you can make figures. You can make, we're looking at making the, where well, we're making the sunglasses here, or the glasses. And actually they're, they're moldable and it's so good. It keeps you entertained, doesn't it? Because you love your crafty stuff, don't you? It's something different to just drawing. So yeah, massive fan of this stuff here. Well, How cool is that? Would you like one, yeah? Looks Callum nice. looks like he really wants to play this. What? Hey, what? I want, a, I want one as well. Hey, show him what you've made. How cool is this? She's made her own glasses. I'm really impressed with that. You've done so well. Do you want to fight me? Oh, Paige just spat in the table laughing. Sorry. <laughs> you want to fight me? I challenge you to a duel. Ching! Ching, ching, ching. <laughs> We've gone for the caramel, nut and banana French toast for me with a side of eggs. And we Paige asked for got bacon. The... We asked for bacon and we got this. No, no, we didn't ask for bacon, Paige. Chill out, calm yourself down. <laughs> we went for some pancakes with Paige, apart the chocolate chips. Sarah got the pina colada French toast, which I'm definitely going to have a bit of. Um, Eggs Benedict looks incredible. Some sweet potato. And Callum went for a... Bacon and cheese sandwich with some fries and a whole thing of gherkins. Yes, I don't know why. Take a bite and I'll give you a dollar. Take a bite and I'll give you a dollar. That's not worth it. Go on, a dollar. A dollar? No, I do it. No, gherkin, take a bite. I won't do it for a dollar. Okay. Take a bite and I'll give you two dollars. Two dollars and I'll do a flip into the pool. Go on, bite, 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 do it, do it. No, no, do it from the thing, left ways, go. Okay. Go on, do it, go on. I do it for him, I do it for him. No, yeah. Callum, no, but no, you like gherkins though. This isn't a challenge for you, you like gherkins. Give it to Callum, please. Come on. She loves gherkins, they're amazing. Callum, give it back to Callum. Go, Callum. Go, do it, do it. Two dollars. I think how how many followers you're going to get on, on YouTube pin? because of this. Okay, I'll, I'll get you uh, a drawing pin. Yeah, just do it. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Chew it, you can't just put it in your mouth. Come on, chew, chew, chew. Don't spit it out, that's rude, mate. You can't do that, it's bad etiquette. Okay, okay. Oh, my God. The pina colada French toast that I just showed you, I just had a bit. This. And I said to Sarah, it just tastes like normal French toast, doesn't it taste very pina colada -y? So I said to her lady, is that pina colada French toast? And she was like, oh, no, sorry, sir. I, I thought you ordered just normal French toast. So this is the pina colada French toast. Which is, looks so good. That's us out of Kiki's now. Um, wow. Wow, you really picked that nice. one. I don't know who recommended it. Callan's struggling with his bag. Do you want me to take that? Yeah. <laughs> Next trip, stand by. He's going to be lifting all the bags with ease. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that meal was absolutely fantastic. I don't know about you, Sarah, but that made me realise, I don't know, well, if you're all over Disney and Orlando, you'll realise that the Disney dining plan doesn't really exist anymore. There's a new one that's just come out. And we always used to come stay on site and uh, use the dining plan. The best thing we ever did, or the best thing Disney ever did, was take that away because we've had some of the best meals. Bob Evans, Kiki's, um, Olive Garden, some of the best meals have been off-site so we're really happy I don't know about you happy yeah, cheesecake factory too. and cheesecake that that was really good wasn't it yeah, it was really nice the stuffed 
toast or French French toast stuff was incredible. I like the banana one more personally, but yeah, 10 out of 10 for me on that. That was an amazing meal and very well priced as well. 70, no, $65 for everything there. That was everything you saw, $65. Yeah, I think with a tip it was $75. That's so cheap for what we just got. So really good. Also, our server, Penelope, I think her name was. Yeah. Amazing, really, really good. Couldn't do enough for us. There was one point, Callum saw someone walk past, or saw her walk past with loads of bacon for a family. And Callum went, oh, was that, a, was that a plate of bacon that you just walked past with? What was that? It was like a platter of bacon. She went, hey, let me go and get some, and it's on me. And she just gave it to us, didn't she? Yeah. Like literally free of charge, she just gave yeah, us a whole really platter nice. of bacon. And then um, also the French toast, like I said, they, she brought out that. It was honestly so good. Service was great, food was amazing. So yeah, really good. Typhoon Lagoon. Let's go. Woo -woo. Woo -woo. Ooh, driving off the road. <laughs> Christ. So just a reference guys, in case you're wondering, it is actually my wife holding the the uh, GoPro, not me. So if you're wondering why is he driving and holding the GoPro, I'm not, I'm just rubbish at driving. So no, I'm not rubbish at driving. I was just getting excited because we went through Disney World. Whoop whoop. whoop, whoop. There it is on the right here, guys. Sarah, I've got, you're vlogging the wrong thing with my vlog pod. Get the staff these days. We're on our way into a uh, typhoon lagoon now. Um, as you probably heard on the video, I don't know if you did, but it only opened at 10 anyway, 10 till 5, I think, was it? Yeah, we just got here and heard people screaming. So. Yeah, we've well, never been to typhoon lagoon, as you guys probably remember from our, our Discovery Cove vlog. If you haven't watched it, go and watch it. It was about three days ago. Um, but yeah, the Discovery Cove one, we used the GoPro in the pool because it's a GoPro and it's waterproof. And basically, in a nutshell, it, it was a waterproof. So Although we'll be trying to catch as much footage as possible today, we won't be taking the GoPro in. So that's us now in Typhoon Lagoon. So we've just got our lockers. This is the large locker here, which is, yeah, not too bad. It's definitely definitely a lot bigger than the regular. And the way it works, there's little kiosks as you come in. You can pay cash, credit card, or Magic Band if you're staying in a resort. Um, and it's linked, obviously, to your credit card. But it's quite simple. You just push what you want, large or regular, and then you just pay for it, just takes your money, and then it just gives you a number to get a like, passcode to get in and it tells you what lock you're at it's really simple 15 large. yeah we went large $15 for a large and $10 for a regular so it's a needs must basis and yeah definitely is a necessity <laughs> we've been back from Typhoon Lagoon quite a bit now we uh we left do you know what? we only went there for a bit we only said we're gonna go to Typhoon Lagoon um, for a few hours and then after that he said we'll, we'll leave it's only a half day part we've been told it's not much to do there and then leave we were there from we got there 11 and then we left at about 4 30 so honestly what a day what a place that we first time I've ever been to Typhoon Lagoon it was incredible um, really good really really enjoyed it the wave pool wow that is that is some aggressive waves that is so good so good uh, so the wave pool we went on a couple of other slides we went three on three or four slides um a few family raft like dinghy rides as well it was really good it was just a really good day i've caught the sun i uh did my cream this morning um and just didn't top up stupid really really stupid but feeling it now just feeling tender put some after sun on so i'm feeling okay but yeah really good day really enjoyed it we're gonna go to ford's garage now we obviously didn't record much from today. That was always going to be the case. Water park days. It was just nice to actually put the GoPro down and put the camera down and just go and enjoy. So we've got a little bit of footage that you would have seen. But yeah, not too much. But no, all in all, it's been a really good day. We're going to go to Ford's Garage now. Um, and yeah, hopefully the burgers are as good as everyone's saying. But like I was saying to my wife, um, 
we've had two good burgers. We had Cheesecake Factory, wow. And then last night's sci-fi burger was incredible as well. So if this is even close to being as good as those two, I'll be a very happy man. It's not really a top tip, but get there early if you can. It opens at 10. Honestly, we struggle to find sun loungers. We really struggle to find sun loungers. Um, and then when we did manage to find one chair, literally one chair, not a lounger, a chair, I chucked all the stuff on it, went in the pool, come back, and then we spotted throughout the towards the end of the day spotted a few sun loungers put all our stuff and moved all over got some shade some shade but yeah really good we grabbed didn't get a video of it but we grabbed the cheese and jalapeno pretzel from uh, the typhoon lagoon amazing so good callum got just the uh, cream cheese pretzel and then Paige got a churro so yeah the snacks look good as for the actual food there didn't look up to much to be honest but um yeah i'm, I'm really hungry now and i'm really looking forward to a burger so just praying it's as good as the last oh. two parked up and ready to go to um, Ford's garage so I was just looking over there I, I drove past the place it looked like very like very British pub themed and I've just looked over I don't think you can see it but it's a big Ben with a Union Jack it's called Yeoman's something Yeoman's and it's got a, a British lion on it um, yeah so I didn't even know that existed did you very British though very that's a big that is a big big Ben not as big as the big big Ben but the big big Ben is big um, yeah, so it was just the three of us. My son wanted to stay. He said he's not really feeling it. Um, he's 14. He's 14. He said he's just feeling a bit chilled, like just wants to stay in this place. It's called Ford Garage. Um, wow. Why are they called Garage, Daddy? Because Ford, yeah. as in the car, there's a Ford Garage. They fix car. Look at this page. You're going to get a picture in front of this car. Of course you will. You can no, no, you can't go in it. You can stand this side though, so we can get a picture. It says, "Do not touch, please." That's what it says on it. You stand, you stand here. Yes, look at mummy's camera. Super cute. Super cute. Super cute. It's sugar. It's sugar. Is this sugar factory? No, surely not. No, it's definitely not. It's just a candy shop. So we're going to a place. Yeah, we can go in there. We're going to a place called Sugar Factory on this trip. I've never been there. Oh, Sarah's never been there. Oh, look at that one. Do not touch. Jinx. Jinx again. Yeah, Jinx again. Wow. The lights turned on. The lights are on. You coming this way, Paige? Wow, look at the detail here. So good. Yeah. I got you. Yeah. Come on then. This is so cool. The whole theme in it is just incredible. There's a blue one, which is Paige's favourite colour, if you didn't hear her just say. Um, she is loving life today with all these pictures. Whoa, look at these door handles. Whoa, these, these are like cars. They are awesome. They, they like cars. The detail of this place is pretty, so cool. pretty awesome. Wow. Everything's so cool, isn't it, Paige? So the theming in this place is unreal. So you've got the Ford garage bucket here with your, all your condiments in. Um, and then here, which is my favorite, the cutlery, it's got a hose clamp around like a, a rag. And then inside I'm that, right. please pull that off. Yeah, pull it, pull, pull. Yeah. And inside that's your cutlery inside, or inside like a rag. So, although I can't get it out, yeah. It's pretty cool. And now Paige, is gonna bite into this lemon. For money. For money? Uh, no, mean? not for money, actually for teddies. For teddies? <laughs> teddies. 
<laughs> but yeah, I went for the sweet tea. Where's my lemon gone off my sweet tea? I went for sweet tea. Paige went for a Coke Zero. My mummy went for, what did you get for me? Lemonade. Lemonade. Sorry, I was in the menu then. Yeah, yeah, so I'm looking at this menu as well. This menu looks so good. You got the Bobby Bobby Kisselback, which is the mod away. Um, honestly, that, that looks good. Sunny side up egg on it. This here Jiffy Burger, American cheese, applewood smoked bacon, chopped romaine and creamy peanut butter on a brioche bun. That, the Scott Boyd, sounds like something I'm about. So Jim Wallace, Scott Boyd, uh, Jeffrey, I don't know who these people are, but if you do know, comment down below because I haven't got a clue. Are these famous people? Okay. Ooh, you've been just smart. I am smart, I just won. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Good game? No, bad game. <laughs> bad game for you. It was a draw. No, page one. Oh, you won, well done, page. You beat mummy. So Paige went for the cheeseburger. How was it, Paige? That look at the size of this cheeseburger, like the portion for a kid. And then we went for buffalo cheese dip with chips. Is that right? It looks good. I mean, it looks really good. It's in a cauldron. It looks like. I don't know what the feminine has to do. With it. I don't know. But yeah, that is massive. That looks great, and I can't wait for you to eat it. We've heard a lot of good things about this, by the way. Good. So good. Okay, so I'm going to try it. Do it. That's good, isn't it? A barbecue brisket burger with fries. That looks absolutely incredible. It does look. If we're going on just appearance alone, this looks like the best burger out of the three so far. But that's just appearance alone, so not taste. Happy? Really happy they look food. so good, don't they? Well, that food was absolutely outstanding. Paige, how was your burger? Good. Good. Good? I'm guessing the burger was your favourite. So, good. This was my favourite. Oh, is it? Yeah. See, that was good. The burger was definitely the highlight for me, though. Oh, the burger was incredible, that. Yeah. Oh, we're not doing a highlight of the day just yet. Unless you go on, give you a highlight of the day. Wait for you to eat and then. Yeah. So for me, I'll say now, that burger lived up to expectation. There's so many you can choose as well. It's not just a standard burger. Sarah's was really good as well out of it. It tastes a bit like it had guacamole. It's Mexican sort of flavor. Guacamole, jalapenos, really good. Paige had the plain cheeseburger. And to sum it up, Paige has had cheeseburger like four times now. And that's the only one she's eaten the whole of, isn't it? And it literally lasted seconds. She was full really bubble. And she, well. yeah, yeah, the cipher one you love. And you ate loads of my bacon as well, didn't you? Oopsies. <laughs> Actually, not oopsies. Um, what are you gonna say? Your highlight of the day? Um, spending time with my family. Yeah. As my and only highlight. No, the wave pool. <gasps> oh, the wave pool. The wave pool. How good was it? Amazing. Amazing. But the Time yeah, we love spending time with you as well, and Paige Box. Yeah, she's game. playing this game where you have to draw. Yeah, can you, you can. You have to draw and fill in what you have to do. The burgers. The, I'll, I'll take the burger. I'm going to rate the burger. I'm not going to rate. In fact, no, we are going to rate the rest of it because my burger, I'd have to give. I don't even know what I gave the sci-fi one and the um, cheesecake factory one. But if I gave that a ten, which I'm pretty sure I did, then this is definitely a ten. It, it's up there. It's, it's the best burger you're gonna get, isn't it? Let's be honest. They, you're not gonna get a burger better than this in it's the a UK. Ten for me. This meal, this whole meal. Yeah. Ten. Yeah. Ten, ten. yeah. I'd say ten as well. I just wanted to add in there. We've just been speaking to the waitress, and basically Ford Garage. This, this here, I don't know if you are. I'll hold it up. But basically, if you want to pause the video to read that and do it, but essentially what Ford Garage are doing, they're trialing a new sort of service fee. 
the way it used to work is basically every, your server you would tip at the end you'd pay your bill and then tip your 10 15 20 percent whatever you wanted to tip now the way it's going to work is going to be different the server will get a commission of what she sells or he sells they will get a commission they don't know what that percentage is yet we don't know what it is they don't know what it is so it's quite worrying and then once they've made that commission a 20 percent service fee will be added on to your check every single person here will pay 20 percent regardless and that money is spread between every employee in here and then goes to the, the business as well so that's the way it works if you want to tip additional to that 20 percent, you can give extra tips but if you're already paying 20 percent who's then going to go oh i have the extra money it's, it's a lot of money already you're already paying 20 percent, which i think yeah so it's not great for the uh the waiters and waitresses and all the servers but that's how they're going to do it and this is being trialed now like i say in ford garage and is expected in the near future to hit every restaurant in Florida. I think they're changing the rules, try, maybe trying to bring it in line with how we do it kind of in the UK, but essentially it's worrying times for the servers and waiters and waitresses here. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed it, it works out beneficial for them in the future with their wage. But at the minute, like I say, our waiters are very scared. So yeah, not great. What's been your highlight of the day, sir? We'll do it now and then we can, because uh, I can't imagine we're going to speak much more. I think I'll have to say this. The food? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, definitely. That's, it's been good. Yeah, um, good. yeah. Now, my highlight of the day has probably been... It's got to be the wave pool. I really enjoyed the wave pool. We spent an hour in there. It just went like that. And that's probably why my shoulders are burnt, because I just... It was so good. The wave pool, Typhoon Lagoon, another level. Like, next level wave pool. So good. Like, the best wave pool I've ever been in. I've been in a few wave pools. That was so good. So that was my highlight of the day. After I've eaten, I get Would haircut. you like me to cut you out of this bit? No, I just might hit up. <laughs> <laughs> that summarises our day 10. Day 10. And we're only halfway there. Oh, we're halfway there. No, that's good. Honestly, it's been amazing. If the next 10 days is as good as the first 10 days, it's going to be an incredible, well, it's already an incredible trip. But yeah, today has been amazing. Um, what is tomorrow? What's day 11, sir? I don't have a clue. Um, she's just put food in her mouth. She knows she's part of this vlog and she's just put food in her mouth. Um, Magic Kingdom. Um, Kona Cafe and Magic Kingdom. Kona Cafe. I cannot wait for Kona Cafe. Literally. How have we been here 10 days and only done Magic Kingdom once by the way? I'm looking forward to that as well. That's a great park. It is a great park. But yeah, Kona Cafe. I love coffee and apparently the Kona blend Joffrey's Kona co coffee blend is like the best, so I can't wait to try that tomorrow. Um, probably sounds a bit stupid to you guys, but yeah, I really can't wait to try that. Um, yeah, looking forward to you joining us tomorrow, and thanks for watching day 10 of the Bailey's Do Disney Orlando series vlog. Tater Tots! Tater Tots! So this is the caramel apple skillet. Um, it looks incredible, it smells incredible, but does it taste incredible? good yeah it does look amazing what are you giving that out of 10 I put you on the spot here haven't I out of 10 sir eight eight okay is it good page mm. good I love the apple taste. Good. I'll give it a nine personally. This is Mike's random tangent tip of the day. I am currently walking around Walmart tender. So my, my tip of the day is just put sun cream on. Don't be a big brave soldier and put sun cream on. You're not hard, you're stupid. But seriously, my actual random tangent tip of the day is if you want to get um, Disney clothes but don't want to pay the ridiculous prices in Disney World, then come to Walmart where they've got so much stuff like this. I mean, like you get that t-shirt there for $15. That, yeah, I don't know how much it would be in Disney World shops, but there's a lot, there's so much stuff. Even these, these bottles here with fans, they fan your water. They're $17, where in the park we've seen the other day for over $30. Uh, there's so honestly there's so much selection um whole star wars whole marvel selection um definitely a top tip if uh if you come out if you come out and don't have any disney clothes 
then yeah, I was just looking at this one. That would definitely be something my wife would get me. Um, yeah, if you come out here and don't have clothes, don't stress because there's so much in Walmart for a quite reasonably priced as well. Paying the same price in Primark. I've just pressed on one and started. You're recording? Oh no, she's recording me. So after Typhoon Lagoon today, Michael has turned into a lobster because he doesn't listen. No. And he doesn't put his cream on when I tell him to put his cream on. This isn't red. This is brown. The lighting might not make it look it, but I've gone brown. What do you think, guys? Comment down below what you think. There's no commenting down put below. Put a poll in there. Put a poll in there. It's, it's brown. It's not red. And if it is, it's because you put a filter on it. You're red. You look like a tomato, Daddy. I'm brown, aren't I? No. You look like a tomato. You're red. You're tomato. <laughs> this isn't happening. This can't be happening. Yeah, Paige, it's the lighting. I'm actually really brown. Look there, see? How brown is it? Hi guys, thank you for watching our Typhoon Lagoon Bailey's Do Disney vlog May 22 day. I'm never going to get that right, I'm never going to try to. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, we did sign off, however, we signed off during Ford's Garage and then obviously then went to Walmart, then went back to the villa. Yeah, we just ended. I don't know why we just ended and, and finished it, but we had so much more that we did after that. So yeah, thank you for watching. Um, I didn't just want to end the vlog with no signing off and no saying bye, etc. So yeah, we've been back a while now. So yeah, thank you for your continued support in watching our videos. We really do appreciate it. And, and honestly, the comments you're leaving are lovely on this and our Baileys Do Disney Instagram account. So thank you for that. Thank you for the follows. Thank you for the subscribes. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for everything. And uh, yeah, hope you're all well. Bye.